Now we're just a stone's throw from the barns, which you can see through the trees over there, but seemingly a world away. This is the Paul Cray Design Mansion for the Philadelphia Museum of Art's Rodin Museum, which is going to open in some months. It's being totally restored. Uh, outdoor sculptures have been restored to those niches from which they had at some point been removed. And uh, inside they've tried to reproduce the original wall coverings and just generally brought this back as much as possible to the architect's vision. And if that name Paul Cray sounds familiar, it is of course the very architect who designed the Barnes Foundation's mansion in Marion, which it has now left for the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. And again, there it is over there. That's one of its windows. Uh, so we're also going to be visiting this tomorrow on a press trip and it will be an interesting and somewhat bittersweet comparison to make. Uh, it feels like about 10 degrees cooler here with all the trees surrounding this place. Uh, it feels serene, tranquil, welcoming to me at least. I, I don't know if people found it too far from the parkway but uh, I have a feeling a little signage and a little publicity once they reopen will do much to restore visitation as they restore this building to its previous grandeur. Still very much a construction site on the inside. The Rosam Museum is reinstating outdoor sculpture. They only had the Thinker and the, the Gates of Hell. Uh, other than that, nothing, everything had been brought inside, but they're now restoring the original idea that there should be sculpture here. And as you can see, the Rodin Museum doesn't see any need to barricade itself, to block off the street with a wall. Uh, it's much more open, inviting, welcoming. What a museum really should be. Uh, it, it's a much more felicitous union of nature and art here than across the street at the other place.